Hey man, shout out to the number one podcast in the motherfucking world. You feel what I'm saying? We considering all that shit. Wish we could debut at the Olympics and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. shout out to Mile High Minute, man. Single handedly, the number one, the number one. You feel what I'm saying? In the mountain region. Fuck what you talk about. Ain't nobody else out here putting it on like him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stop saying that shit. Shout out Mile High Minute. He's that fucking man. If he can't. Then nobody can you get the only one putting on with this shit Pulling up to your section Mile High Minute number one podcast in the universe We live, Denver, Colorado, man With Key, what's going on, man? What up, though? What up, though, man? It's long overdue, man Long overdue Yeah, yeah, hell yeah We've been chopping it up in the inbox for like at least a year yeah, If yeah, not right, longer man. Definitely a little longer than a year Yeah, right around the time I took this shit a little bit serious, man Hell yeah Bro, when you started, yeah, I had to get it popping down. I had to make it official for the stand. Shout out to my high man. Hell yeah. Double some motherfuckers out here. Um, first off, how did you figure out about Mile High Minute or, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, uh, the page, the YouTube, all that. I ain't gonna lie, man. I was stalking everybody's page in Colorado. I'm glad to familiarize myself with the music scene out here because, you know, right. nobody actually showing people who doing music out here. So I think it was like, uh, Trev Rich first, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and I was just going through people's friends and mm-hmm. trying to see who was who was what. And everybody kept plugging your shit, so I had to tap in. The interviews and shit was going crazy on YouTube and shit. That's when I think he was with uh, Polo and them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On the YouTube right here. Yeah. Hell okay, yeah, bro. Okay. So, uh, well, let's get into your backstory. This is our first interview. Yeah. Hopefully not the last. Definitely not. Definitely not. You feel me? I'm trying to be out there where uh, I'm on the hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, one, we trying to come up with Hawaii, too. Yeah, yeah. so I'll hey, one for sure. But, yeah, yeah uh, let's let's get into your story. So, you originally from Ohio? Hell or yeah, hell yeah. What part? Uh, born in uh, Akron. Ended up finding my way in Canton. Not too many people know nothing about Canton. It's like right up the street from Akron, where LeBron from. Yeah. Um, so that's why you're a big Bron fan, though. Yeah, man, from Akron. So we we was around dude when we was younger and shit. You know what I'm oh, really? Like, Akron is is small. You feel know what I'm saying? Like, you know, from small cities, you know everybody. So did you ever run into him or see him? Yeah, like, shit. My mom and his mom and all the motherfuckers used to. Enjoy the drug trade of the 80s back in the day. So <laughs> they all was friends sharing stems. <laughs> like 40 years ago. Yeah, they was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody know everybody for real, for real. But That's crazy. Hell yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm from Canton and shit. South side to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Highland Park area, man. Shout out to AP. Uh, uh, Page. How far is uh, Canton from Cleveland? It's like a, I want to say it's like how long it is from Denver to the Springs, but the way they got 25 set up right now, that motherfucker would take me forever to get across that bitch, you feel what I'm saying? But it's like like a 45-minute drive, you know what I'm saying? Like Cleveland is where it's at when it comes to that nightlife shit, you know what I'm saying? Akron getting their numbers up right now and shit, but uh, yeah. What about, uh, Akron came there. yeah, I was going to ask, Akron and just- Canton, that, that's where the Hall of Fame uh, Yeah, okay. Is, right? Yeah, some football, football motherfuckers know about it. Yeah, yeah, that's where they go to get goaded. You know what I'm that's saying? That's hard. I've never yeah. been. I, I would like to go someday. Yeah, it ain't nothing but three streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's the spot, man. I love that motherfucker, bro. But it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's only 70,000 people. Did you ever go to a Hall of Fame game since you were out there? Mm, no. That shit ain't my... That wasn't my speed back then. I was more tend to uh, more into some street shit. So. Well, what were your hobbies as far as like the work? Were you playing basketball or anything? You know, given the fact that wrong. I ain't got an athletic bone in my body, bro. It's over. That shit just skipped all the way over me. I guess uh, my hobbies was like uh, I don't fucking know. Bro. I was just being a goddamn kid, just you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to chill. I ain't had too many hobbies. I was freestyling a little bit. Yeah, but not really much. Okay, so how did you start getting into music? Uh, my brother, uh, my brother and my cousin introduced me to music. My cousin K Five out of Akron. 
uh, K Fifth with my brother Trail. They used to listen to a whole bunch of that West Coast shit, like C Ball, Killer Tay, Brother Lunch type shit. And uh, they used to experiment with the music back when, damn, I don't know to sound old as fuck, but PlayStation had a game called PlayStation Generator where you can make beats on like the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 or something. I think I remember that. Yeah, that's yeah, all. So they used to make beats on there from there and then go and record them the old school way and shit. And I always used to admire that shit, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But never really tried it. I ain't tried it until I seen Eminem do some shit. Like, then that motherfucker started flipping words. And I'm a nerd, so I'm like, I want to try some. You're a nerd? What do you mean by that? I mean, uh, I'm real. um, In the analytics and stuff? Yeah, I'm real analytical, real intellectual, you know what I'm saying? And I know how to articulate stories, as you can tell. Yeah, no, facts. I ain't no dummy, but yeah, when I seen him do it, and he was doing that shit off of like drugs, he was like. Eminem? He, yeah, Eminem was taking that. He was going on. What? I didn't know he was off I didn't see Man, yeah. what? You gotta Probably go. Probably weed, maybe, or something. Man, his first CD cover was a Vicodin pill. Oh, like, shit. talking like, dude was fucked up. That's why he can't make music now. Nah, fuck you, Eminem. It's a sound bite, like, no, nah, but, uh, I mean, he, um, used to just have so many, like, structures to his, his bars like and I used to freestyle and get my shit off and I used to go crazy and then I never did nothing with it until I went to penitentiary when I got in there I found a way to like use, as, use it as like a way to get through the time you feel what I'm saying like and I got good at that shit so hell yeah man what about influences so I know you brought up Eminem who else influenced you as far as like artists and moguls in the music industry that kind of yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm uh, on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen that question. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I guess with influence, you gotta you gotta think about what time in which motherfuckers was doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, at that yeah. time, it was him. But to make me want to do it now in Colorado, it was like AP, Trey Rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, old man Saxton, fucking oh, Jacob yeah. Campbell being on... Uh, that rhythm and flow? Yeah, that rhythm and flow. I'm like, damn, niggas is, niggas got bars already. No, nah, for real, so yeah. you gotta like, then you look at the top dogs, like the Kendricks, the, the, the J. Coles, the, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Niggas got pen game, you know what I'm saying? If Drake's writing, right? <laughs> but, uh, no, <nah>, like, <laughs> niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas, it's easy to get influenced by music, though, you feel what I'm saying? Because it's just like, whatever is hot, for me, like, Everything that you can possibly think of, it inspires a motherfucker that has the ability to make music. You feel me? Because you pull it from everywhere. You inspire me. You know? That's love. Cool. I appreciate it. Man. You inspired me to make the music out here because I had to ask the questions of how it sounded. I then scroll through all these pages and hear the sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you man. think our sound is? Ah man, shit is like with all over the place. You feel me? Because like, it's 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 uh, it's almost like location based. You feel what I'm saying? Like, some people sound like this from over here, some people sound like this from over there. Mm-hmm. But it's based on where you come from, because art imitates life. You feel what I'm right. saying? So, uh, Tana Timbirds is talking about something. And AP talking about something, but they come together on the white tea. And, yeah, that was dope. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, yeah, it's just like, like this is just nice, bro. I don't know. Niggas is just nice and I like I like music. Niggas be like I feel like your sound's pretty Colorado, like when I was listening to the Mount of Views and um, the last one you just dropped with uh yeah, Jesus, so so true. True. yeah uh, I was I was definitely hearing like a Colorado vibe to your tone. Yeah, and just thank like you, thank you, thank like you. the vibe, like the beat choice. It was a yeah. very like some I feel like I'll be riding in the mountains listening yeah, to you, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, just like going it. down lookout, just cooling, you feel me, like relaxing. But this also spitting bars at the same time. So where, you know, does that style come from? Do you feel like you have, you have been heavily influenced by Colorado to make music like that? Or, or what kind of makes you, you know, want to, you know, show Colorado and, and show love and stuff like that in your music? Especially coming from out of state, you know what I'm saying? That was almost a question. My bad. I have a, I had hey, a tendency to do that. Hey, yeah, but look, shout out to Breast Cancer Awareness, and that's my old lady's cup, and it holds on to the water. It's a thermal. That shit is the shit. Well, listen, 
Um, I answered your question before you just asked that question, actually. I got the influence from or the, the sound or, or how to create sure, that song yeah. from you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. From doing my research, you know what I'm saying? Like, in um, Against the Grain, what I shot with uh, Hey A1, it's like in the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like I sat back and took notes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And just, just waited for my turn to just pop out. So try to blend a whole bunch of different sounds that's bouncing around in my head and put it on wax. With Mountain Views, that baby was really, really created riding, riding through the mountains, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's just stimulation. That's no, why I can't really. keep looking at this damn camera because it's a view behind this window that y'all can't see, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. just enough to look at, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I, I, I get that shit from just being out here. And since I'm from Ohio, no, and my granny, my granny, uh, PBM, y'all hear her initials all through um, the project. Majority of my posts is E4 PBM. My granny was born in Colorado. And she never had a chance to make it back out here. So on the first of her, uh, her fucking line of babies to make it back out here. You know what I'm saying? So she was born here. Yeah. And then moved to Ohio. Yeah. With her mom, they never had a chance to make it back out here. She was born December fifteenth, nineteen thirty eight. So where at? What city? Denver. Okay. She was born at Denver Health Hospital. She never had a chance to make it back out here. Her father was from out here. Oh. So that's what brought me out here in 2013. And uh, I came out here trying to find her dad and then we ended up getting into some other shit. Hopefully we talk about it out here, but- uh, No, yeah, you're good. Definitely got that song from listening, taking notes, observing. Yeah, you want to have long questions, I got long answers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. <laughs> That's how it is, man. This is a mile high minute, man. I'm the more that podcast part, in the universe, in the mountain region. I'm done talking about Midwest, West Coast. We're the mountain region. Like, Chasing. <laughs> no, but um, what I wanted to get into next. So, you said your family brought you, you know, back out here. When did you come out this time, and when did you start making music this time? Like, have you made music in the past? No, hell no. So, not one song, not a video, not nothing. So, what? When did you start making music out here, and, and what inspired you to just say, okay, you know, I'm gonna just do it? Because there's a difference between um, having fun and you know, as a hobby, just freestyling, what have you, and actually like, okay, I'm gonna serious, take this serious. Yeah. I'm gonna do music videos. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make this a business. All right, so yeah. What was that brain? What was that light bulb? So, here? Um, we came back out here um, September of 2019. We was in Ohio from 2016 to 2019 fighting a, a lawsuit. And when I got back out here, like I said, September, so what, October, November, my my best friend and my uh, my brother, Trail's baby mom's brother, Jeez, which one of my best friends, uh, childhood best friends and shit, he wrote, he got this thing like, so when I was doing a little freestyle shit, he, um, back in the day, he used to give me assignments. Like this would just keep me sharp with rhymes and shit. And he did a, a assignment that told me to write about something. It was about mobbing down the street. Um, South Side in Canton, and I did that. And uh, when I did it, I wrote it fast as hell, and it surprised me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that shit was quick and it was hard. So uh, I let him hear it, and I kept writing more and more. She was at it, my old lady had her job and shit, so I'm just finding all the times to write. Mm -hmm. And then I hit homie up again, like a couple of weeks later, after I had made up a whole bunch of more rhymes and shit. And he, like, he, like, wait, played me and shit. He, like, um, like, how long you gonna do it this time? We gonna hear from hear from you again in March or some shit like that. Like, damn, bro, I took that shit to the heart. Like, yeah, man, he didn't think that I was serious, so that was something that contributed to the fire at first. Um, and then one of my homies that I looked look up to on the music side in Ohio, he played some shit that I had posted on Facebook for another person in Ohio that I looked up to, and he like. Uh, Telling, like, telling 
to hit me when he gets serious. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? What you yeah. mean? I ain't serious like I am, nigga. I, I wrote that shit down, nigga. I was serious as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I had to I had to ask some questions to figure out what he meant. And I found out that they saying that you're not serious when you're not putting out your music, when you're not right. putting it on platforms, if you're not promoting it, if you're not trying to do videos, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't on all platforms, they're not taking you serious. Right. So anybody out there that's doing music and shit, if anybody not taking you serious when you're sending them DMs and shit, it's because they're not seeing you connecting with people like My Heart Minute and, and getting out here and getting your shit moving. So I, know, man. I, got, with my, I got with my cousin. Um, K5, the same one that I told you that gave me the early influences and shit. And he told me what he meant. And then he told me how to do it. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I found out about Tune Court. Um, I had, no, actually, I found out about Tune Court through Russ. Mm -hmm. The famous dude, Russ. Russ? The artist? Yeah. He had said something about it, about how to control your royalties and shit, you know what I'm saying? By mm -hmm. getting through DSPs and stop being thirsty to get in touch with labels, because most artists only use labels for distribution, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. if you go through TuneCore, DistroKid, United Masters, and you can pay to get your music on all of these platforms. So I'm like, glitch, thank you, Ralph, you feel right. what I'm saying? I'm about to break the shit out of this internet, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and he told me that shit, and then I put the videos out. You I know, mean, I put, uh, birth pains out on tune core first. I still was scared though, and uh, I don't know. Something clicked like after we got back from California last year. I went out there for the first time with them for my uh, son's birthday and all ladies' first time. When I came back, I'm like, shit. Maybe I should drop a little project. You know what I'm saying? Like a six song, seven song. EP, just give the streets a little something, you know what I'm saying? So I, Is that the Better Than Mine? Better Late Than Never. Better that's than that's never. why the project is called Better Late Than Never, because why not? Better Late Than Never. Bars! Killing you niggas, bro! <laughs> so what made you have that mindset, Better Late Than Never? So I got like, it's just a, um, you know, like thoughts just be coming to me on some weird shit, like random like exact shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I just thought of a title, like, better late than ever. If somebody show up to your party and they say like, nigga, I came, but you, I could have you, been late or I never would have came, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, should just put this bitch out. Do you care about blowing up? What do you mean by blowing up? Like, do you care about getting famous in the rap industry? I mean, I'm doing it for, you know what I'm saying, like, I guess attention, you know what I'm saying, like, I want my fuckers to be able to hear me, so. Right. So, I don't, way, I don't yeah. know how big, I, I, I yeah, I, I want something from this shit, you know what I'm saying, I just don't know what. What are your goals and, like, plans? I'm just trying to shoot my son some shit, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like, this shit for my son, bro, like. That's real. Because if I ain't doing something, then he ain't gonna have nothing to look at or be proud of, you feel what I'm saying? So that's all of this right. shit is just like planting seeds to let my son know. That's why he here, he ain't paying attention, but he's a part of it, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so he gonna know, you feel me? So. What is like the difference in motivation when you don't have a kid compared to when you do like become a father and actually have to like raise someone and look after that, that wasn't on the list you ain't asked you ain't had that written down bro you well they, this is the mom I mean yeah you're from the this is I, the plan <laughs> nah, for real I mean like uh it's just it, it's got to be in you you feel what I'm saying like yeah. not all not all dudes is able to handle they seem and turn it into an actual talking fucking human Right. And it don't affect them the way that it's supposed to, or how it affect real men. You feel me? Like yeah. it's a lot to deal with. Cause I don't know how to set it fucked up, but that's literally what I deal with. Like nigga, you're nigga, you was just in my nuts five years ago, bro. <laughs> how you talking to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's funny. This nigga is tripping. <laughs> Sit down, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But like, <laughs> when you like, I don't know. Like I was a kid with nothing. Yeah, from up from the inner city of Akron. Shout out Brian. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so are you a Lakers fan, Cavs? I'm a I'm a LeBron, Raymond James fan. Wherever bro go, Nuggets. my loyalties go. I mean, I'm a fan of the sport at that point. You know what I'm saying? So anything outside of LeBron, I'm just a fan of people that play basketball. So it's more about like 
You feel what I'm saying? Like the Joker. Them niggas is balling. They're incredible out the West. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, what about football, baseball? Do you have any teams that you. Browns. I'm a floater like a motherfucker, bro. Like, whoever throwing the pigs in the best out there. That shit's it's different. The football so you're a shit. Brady fan? Fuck no. How dare you? Kick this nigga's camera up. Get <laughs> out of here. Deflate gate. No, that nigga nice, though. He is definitely he's definitely the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga know how to throw that pig skin. What the fuck was the question? We <laughs> just deviated. Like, uh, the dad shit, no. Well, so, niggas, yeah, like yeah. my son, uh, the conditions in which he came into this world affected my mental health for a long time. Like And like yeah. I said, my inspiration was Eminem and is Eminem. So, how he turned that into something with Haley when he had his daughter, you feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. he, he made that a part of his his sales pitch was you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck my mom, she's on some bullshit. She was drugging me and fuck my baby mom, she be on some bullshit. She be drugging me and my daughter is the shit. You feel what I'm saying? So I seen that in his story, like he turned having a child into something. He seen that he ain't had no wipes for his baby, no diapers and shit like that. It's like Damn, I got a skill. I can't keep sitting on this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. So some niggas have babies to to brag about it and just make pictures and shit, whatever. But for my son, I had no dad. My dad passed away when I was younger, so I had to be there for my son as best as I can. And that's why I dropped my project, and that's why I'm here with you, honey. Wow, that's real. Okay. Well, let's get back into the project. Um, how do you feel about the project? How do you feel you did overall? And were you proud of yourself for taking that step and actually releasing the project? Hey, man, that bitch is gas. Best album of the year. Can't nobody fuck with me. Don't even think about it. When you play my shit, just just give it up. Go get an Android phone. Don't need to write raps again. It's over. Mm -hmm. This is trash. Uh, no. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, do you think you could have done that anything better, or is there anything you would li like to improve on moving forward hey on man, future listen, projects? I came up with the idea of dropping that project in November of 2020 when I got all my mixes back and before uh, the homie blocked me from Lab Studios. I still love you, bro, I swear to God. Um, what happened? I came up with the idea of. Uh, no, the yeah, no, you ain't about to. Breakfast <laughs> Club, me, nigga, like, what's his name? What's that sauce? What's no, uh, <laughs> no, um, I rushed into I rushed into making that project for real, for because a lot of that shit was just made while my old lady was at work. My son wasn't in school, you feel what I'm saying? So I was just bored as fuck, yeah, making songs and shit like that. But just come to find out after collabing with Zeno, after collabing with Deuce, after collabing with uh, a lot of people out of the Springs and shit like that, um, I just put that bitch together for real, for real. Me and my old lady was riding back and forth from. From up here to the Springs, and we figured out that track line of just listening to the songs to see how they flow with each other and shit like that. And I think I, you know, fuck, think, think I know I did better than all you niggas shit. And it was only six songs, 19 minutes, nigga. It's as long as it takes to get from here to in and out. You feel what I'm saying, nigga? Let them know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did, um, or I guess. I could have did. I could have, I could have. What? Are, what I was going to ask I'm gonna, was... I'm, I'm going to do better on this next one, man. It's kind of real sometimes. Hey, that's all it's about, though, at the end of the day. It's just constant improvement. Um, but what I did want to talk about was... We kind of already touched on it at the beginning of the interview. You, What I really noticed about you that stood out compared to a lot of artists I've worked with, you really show a lot of, like, genuine love and, like, and, like you just don't be bullshit. You know? Like, you really... You know, you seem like a real genuine dude, so how do you feel like that part of your character has helped you out here in the Colorado scene? I mean, shit, uh, thank you for uh, the roses and shit, bro. I don't really, uh, yeah, no really problem. appreciate that shit, man. Um, I swear to you, no bullshit. The first thing that came through my head when you were saying it, like, what I, I was just waiting for you to try and give me a way to say it. Yeah. I came from the struggle I used to eat bologna. I don't know why, bro. That came to my head, bro, but for real. I really came from the struggle I used to eat bologna sandwiches until that bitch bubbled up on the top right there. Like, put that bitch on there, like, 
Fuck that bitch. Mm-hmm. They got the little soft inside the crust, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to eat the black. I came from the struggle, nigga, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? So, um, J. Cole, nigga, is, is, is beauty in the struggle, nigga, is ugliness in the success, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and I've seen both sides of this shit from the journeys that we've faced out here in these moments. Um, so I gotta pay it forward, just just showing love and, and, and giving people what was never given to me. That's just how I'm built. Um, you asked the second part to it, fuck it, I missed it. No, you good. I actually was going to and then I paused because I was like, couldn't think of the way I was gonna move. Um, Okay, well, I wanted to talk about the Mountain Views again. I know we touched on it a little bit, but um, it was shot by Hootie Shooter. Shout out Shooter. Shout out Shooter. What made you want to work with him? And then also, what do you love about being in the mountains? Mm, uh, shooter. Man, shit, your list, bro. Now, I'm not going to sit here and flex. I'm not sitting here to try and keep plugging your page on being as transparent as I can. Your list gave me a blueprint of how I'm going to connect the dots with you, from what I'm saying? seeing that list last year, I think that's exactly probably how I figured out who was who, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Shooter was on the list. Uh, I collabed with A1 off that list. I collabed with uh, Forever the Ghost off that list. KB, KB, baby, whatever you say, that nigga's Instagram. Um, and that's how you get tapped in, man. You, yeah, you really got to spend some cheese, man. You know what I'm saying? Tap in, grease some niggas' hands, help some niggas out. You know what I'm saying? Like, pay some niggas' bills. Um, I'm proud to pay, like the homie Nip said. Man, I respect niggas' prices. I respect niggas' art. So, mm-hmm. paying niggas' prices. You know what I'm saying? Let's work. You know what I'm whoever. Send me beats, send me whatever. You know, let's, let's put the box state on. Shout out 100 Pack. You know, shout out 100 Pack. For real. No, for real. He goes hard. He goes shout hard. One of my favorite rappers in the city right now. Yeah, shout out to Pack. Yeah. Send me something, man. For real. But, um, damn, I keep missing these other parts of this damn question. No, you good. So, do you... Don't smoke over 30% THC. I just put it on my story, bro. Don't do it. It's just dangerous. So, Zo Sharif, let's talk about that one, because you just dropped that oh, one. Oh, no, you said Mountain View. What else he say? He said... Uh, I'm trying to remember, too. Uh, my own views. I don't know. I think I look. I was listening to that bitch this morning, just thinking about the songs that I did. Oh yeah, the mountains. Yeah, my own views like that. I came off and said, uh, I always <clears throat> told him this shit would shake when I found focus. I probably can do this music shit blindfolded. That's a crazy bar, like nigga. He um he asked you about the mountains. Do you like the oh, what do I like about the mountains? Thank <laughs> I, you, I, I, man. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hell yeah. Plug in from old lady. She killing all the rest of y'all niggas, baby. Moms. She got a baby mom versus. Jeez. You know what's up? I don't know. Right Sleep here, right now. Best taco salad. Baby mom got the best taco salad. Steak salad. Oh, my. Oh, my. We'll we'll be live last mom. Well, that shit was slapping last oh. night, bro. That shit was slapping. August 22nd, Saturday, 7 p.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. on the Mahomet OnlyFans. What? Baby mom cook off? What we doing? What are we doing? No, um, the mountains, bro, shit. Um, bro, what can you not like about the motherfuckers, bro? Like, they do the you whole state. You in there? Bro, it's like, I'm going to tell my story like I keep telling my story, bro. I went to college before I came out here at Stark State. I still owe them niggas some money and shit. They ain't going to never get it. <laughs> um, but I went to school out that motherfucker, bro, and I took the sociology course, and niggas was saying, uh, Environmental stimulation is good for your mental, you feel what I'm saying? So I knew that I needed a creative space to be able to make the music. Because I was in a penitentiary being able to make it in there because of that that system of penitentiary shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's day in, day out the same shit. So you didn't have no deviations from nothing. So it was easy to create. All I had to do was just go piss the CEO off and Johnson, hold oh, motherfucker. And um, I'll write a motherfucking album in the whole nigga for real on the day. I was, but um, with these mountains, them bitches just like, especially in the spring, them bitches just so close, like, in the clouds and shit like that. Colorado, this shit is beautiful. Like, anybody that come out here knows it. If they don't smoke too much weed, then they'll be able to. How do you feel about the weather? Because it's cold sometimes. That shit is depressing. I, I definitely question what Seattle could be like, bro, because that shit rains all the time. Out here, that shit is. Shit is crazy. The weather is <laughs> the snow. 
Man, like, I, like I'm, from, like I'm from Ohio though, so I ain't even gonna cap with you. I want to go a whole 365 days without seeing the snowflake. You know what I, would like to see that. I would love to just go a whole December like barbecuing, Arizona. like nigga, no. Death. I'm not going to Arizona. I respect everybody out there, but that shit sounds like death. Too hard. Like, I don't even get why people live there. Like, bro, move out. Move out here. Let them you know, fucking lizards have that. <laughs> you can have it. Cactus. But the mountains is the shit, bro. Come to Colorado immediately, bro. Tap in with the motherfuckers that's doing the shit out here. Shout out to my granny for being born here and lead me back to this motherfucker. I love this place. This bitch is the shit. The oh. shit. What about, uh, what's the first song they should check out after this interview? Um, my next song that's coming out, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a song, you know what I'm saying? Me, my right minute, who the shooter, you know what I'm saying? We collab yeah. with, you know what I'm saying? AP, we got some new shit coming out. Uh, I go by B Moolah, that's my right <laughs> B Mooley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, um, let me see, uh, what should you check out? Uh, just go check out the project, man. It's, if you're in Colorado, you can listen to that motherfucker on your way to 7-Eleven because it takes 20 minutes to get everywhere out here. So let's go spend that motherfucker 19 minutes, man. Birth Pain's on there. Uh, me versus Me is on the way. Jason Checkmate on the way. Roots on the way. Um, I got songs with uh, Penny Taylor that's about to drop next month. Man, shout yeah. out to Penny Taylor. Uh, me and Doobie got some shit. Doobie Uh Doobie Danks. Of the, you know, of the, yeah, of the, uh, Colorado Springs, homie. Um, me and Hash Mustafa got some shit. Uh, Hash got bars. I forgot what his Instagram had to be it is. But, um, go check out Better Late Than Ever, man. That's an important part of your day, man. Make sure you listen to it. Give me some feedback, man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Okay, and Zoe Sharif. Let's talk about that one. That was your latest. You dropped that yeah. one a week or two ago? Yeah, yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks. Let's talk about it. How did that one come together? Where did the title come from? Hey man, shout out to JP Bangs. Uh, out of, I forgot where JP Bangs at. He's around the SAC or LA. Forgive me, Xavier TV. I don't want to get pressed or nothing. If, if Xavier I TV? No, I'm listening. I just don't want to say that somebody's from the wrong hood in California. But JP Bangs, he do uh, beats for Mozzie. Oh, okay. Um, he came up with the beat for his old Sharif. I wrote to that originally, but I, I think I took too long to pay for the beat. So um, it attention it originally had a beat from JP Bangs and then I connected with Cons from Africa, I mean, from Canton, um, and he made that beat to that motherfucker. And like I said I wrote all that shit while she was on lunch break, so none of them shits were really like me taking it serious. You feel what I'm saying? Like but that shit is aggressive bars. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about some shit in there. Fuck George and Fred and Kev. The niggas was horrible friends to me. I cried so many times. <laughs> nah, damn. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> Edit all of this out, okay? No, um, I thought you was dead ass. For yeah, Zoe Sharif. Um, <laughs> that shit is gas. Yeah, I'm getting my acting on. You know what I'm saying? Netflix. Hey, man, you gotta work on it. Yeah, Netflix, come holler at me, bro. For real. <laughs> you gonna be the on the next story, rhythm and flow, too, or what? Yeah, I know the real story about LeBron James' dad. You know what I'm saying? So, What's the story? I'll tell you on the next interview. <laughs> get discount. Get discount. I like it. I like it. You, know what I'm saying? Yeah. you got the sauce. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All of them. You know what I'm saying Chipotle. Listen. You know what I'm saying Chick Fil A sauce. Chick Fil A, Polynesian. Yeah. You know what I'm Barbecue. Saying? What I was gonna ask. Um, compare the Ohio scene to the Colorado scene, hip hop scene. Man, shit, bro. It's a lot going on out here. So many people doing music, bro. Shout out to you and A1 for just like, bro. It's so many motherfuckers doing music. And shit, bro. I don't, I don't even know. Like, that Denver is incredible. The world is incredible. Like, y'all got shit. Like, y'all numbers is crazy. We ain't got this, we ain't got as many people. Um, like I said, it's only two and a half streets, so like it's like nine curves, uh -oh. you know what I'm saying? Like seventeen stuff signs. Maybe like one or you know what I'm saying? So I've heard of some big rappers come out of there though, but not anymore. I feel like Colorado's hotter than Ohio. I was gonna say, uh, I don't know nobody that came out of Ohio besides you know what I'm saying, Trippy Rare. What about um 
the bone stuff. I think from my God home. damn, nigga, what the fuck gear is it? Marty McFly bringing up old shit, bro. Shit. I mean, that is wild. Like, back to the past, nigga. Them niggas did songs with Easy E, man. Shout out to the, the Godfathers of rap, bro. And then um, Chopo, he's an underground dude, though. Yeah, I don't know nothing about him. Um, what about that one white dude? He actually lived out here too for a little bit. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Oh, uh, MGK, yeah. boy, is incredible. But out here, it's like, what, AP, old man, so, like, if you look at the all-time, I feel yeah, like it's not niggas comparable. Ain't, niggas ain't, it ain't, it ain't no comparison. But right now? Family. Everybody want to sound like Detroit shit, so it's hard True. for anybody to differentiate yourself from other motherfuckers. You know that Bone Thugs and Harmony was serenading motherfuckers with raps and shit like that, so they was... Sounded different and they created a wave, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so well, that's how you do it, everybody is sounding like you feel what I'm saying, ESTG and fucking Man, John Wall yeah, shit, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it is, it's all following that same wave, but I know that yeah. as far as putting music out, doing videos, collabing, doing shows, like, Colorado motherfuckers is going hard, you feel what I'm saying? Like, but you gotta. You gotta know somebody to know somebody to find out, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it's like when you go to Texas or something like that, you gotta link with Sperry or something like that to no, know sorry. what's going on. Like, exactly. You gotta know the, the back streets and shit like that. But y'all shit going crazy out this month for like, it That's a little crazy. I appreciate it. What I was gonna say was, uh, what do you think Colorado needs or is missing to take that next step and to have major labels? I mean, I think, I think that, that everybody would do better could do better if they consider just individuality, you know what I'm saying, like more conceptual raps, you know what I'm saying, having something to talk about, talking about what they really been through, and giving people inspiration on how to want to do music, you know what I'm saying, because right. it's a lot of motherfuckers that, that got the talent to do music, let them know, man, I'll be just them them got the them. confidence, like people just need a boost, you know what I'm saying, like somebody to, to tap them on the shoulder, pull their coattail, like bro, come on. Like, I would never go to the studio because I never think nobody want me to go there. That's just like something that be in people's heads. You know right, right. So I think that people could do better. All artists that can that make music on a, on a scale, or any scale, could do better by diversifying themselves, like individualizing themselves, taking themselves away from trying to follow trends and talking about their story. You know what I'm saying? People want to hear how you did it, what it took to you know what I'm saying? become what you is. Like, Oh, that's Stop being so goddamn big headed, bro. Like, <laughs> shit, I get it. Like, you can do music, you got followers, you can get likes, and everybody likes you. But shit, bro, like, come outside and start shaking hands with the people that really, you know what I'm saying, is looking for inspiration. You feel what I'm saying? No, nah, for people who's in the mental health bag at home, not knowing what the fuck to do. Motherfuckers don't got money all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's hard out here, so I respect like the shit that everyone is doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like scratching hands, helping people Not out, like hundred dollar videos. Like who the fuck can beat that? They still talking shit though. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? of like, course, but, but that's why can, I respect it. Like every artist could learn something from everybody if they were just willing to close their mouth, open their yeah. ears, yeah. and look and see how to do shit, Not and really. then take the game and implement it yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Like spread the shit. You said it right there because he got. If you got 10 slots for 100, then once those 10 is out, nigga, what the fuck you think? You can't get people to do it to spread the shit to you, bro. Do yeah, no, all too. those 10 people are going to go post their videos everywhere, yeah. and the next you know, 100 rappers are going to see those, and they're going to want videos. Yeah, and then he comes back and charges so. a little more. Y'all making it hard on the homie and shit, you know what I'm saying? I keep talking about my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, help the nigga out. Help put the box stay down, bro. No, you know real. how to do videos, bro. Go get a camera, go file for your PPP, bro. Go get a camera, man. Go file for uh, PUA in goddamn Kansas. Ain't nobody there, bro. Just say you Let's talk out. about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Go buy you a camera. Keep the glizzy on you. You feel what I'm saying? Get out here, bro. Niggas need their art out here, bro. No, I'm saying? Really. So, yeah, that's what I think everybody can do, man. Just each one, teach one, man. Just help everybody up, man. That's it. What's the struggle that you went through that made you the man you are today? The post office. Thank you. You took so long to get here, bro. United States Postal Service, man, they did all this shit. I'm blaming them. Man. The struggles of um, what we went through in Denver in 2014, uh, 2014 to 2015, 
that shit inspired me the most, bro. I swear to God. I literally been waiting for you to say that shit. She got pregnant with our son while she was working at South Denver Station. And uh, the motherfuckers fired her because she got pregnant and shit, bro. Pushed us to the street. We had to go home once again. Like, which is uh, where I shot that video for A1 right outside the Lemon Street Hotel on Broadway. That shit, like, overcoming that shit, that shit did so much shit to me mentally, like, living with the homeless motherfucker, sleeping at the Samaritan house, you feel what I'm saying, like, sleeping in the ICU waiting room at St. Joseph before they tore that bitch down, like, like, nigga, that shit was hard. It was only 90 days, you feel what I'm saying. Most motherfuckers don't be 1,300 miles, 1,300 miles away from their mom and their whole family, like, right. Literally walking up and down 16th Street, looking just like the niggas that's out there begging for change. Like that shit was the hardest shit in my life, and it's it's all through the project. So I'm stuck in my ways. It's How'd you get out of that? The ancestors, man. Shit, prayers, my old lady. Like you know what I'm saying, like my son. Just I don't know, bro. Shit, keeping my chin up, keeping my chin down. Taking punches and shit, we, we, you know what I'm saying, shit was not easy. But having coping mechanisms inside, you know what I'm saying, having your mental faculties and knowing how to respond to shit and make you resilient, you feel what I'm saying? We all got that shit in us to be able to overcome adversities and shit like that. I don't know, seeing my mom go through her struggles helped me understand how to go through mine, you feel me? Like, oh, that's real shit nigga that's what motivated everything about what's going on right now and we about to whoop y'all ass i hope y'all know that i see y'all in the court next year bitch bro you just not trying to catch me on that court oh i don't play basketball i was talking about seeing the united states postal service in the courthouse next month we're gonna see y'all oh, sure, the garage the courthouse next year if y'all want to come down there and tell all the newscasters come down here i got uh all kind of free shit Biden is still providing. I got stamps for days. I'm buying all kind of free shit. You know what I'm saying? Crab Lake boils. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. Meet me at the Alfred Garage in May the next year. Bro, we'll beating the ass. Bro. 2022? Yes, beating the post office's ass, nigga. Next question. Hell <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, what's one piece of advice you would have for other artists now that you've actually, you know, made some progress within your career? Stop playing with your art, bro. Stop playing. Um, studio sessions is basically like $40. So don't go pay for the coochie, bro. <laughs> 40 Not for, for a studio session, bro. It don't take that much, bro. You can double back with another 40 bro. And get your shit mixed and mastered. Don't let none of the, the numbers in this shit blind you and make you think like, oh, it costs too much. Right. Fuck that. Spend that shit, bro. It's gonna come back. It's called investing in yourself. No, for real. You feel what I'm saying? Like, do the same thing you did with Dogecoin because you seen it on Say Cheese. Do that and shit. With your music. Music. Yeah, and in my high minute, shout out to you, homie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, definitely kept me up on game on Doge. I been making a whole bunch of purchases. <laughs> yeah. And whatever niggas is uh letting niggas use Dogecoin and stuff though, but for uh artists, you feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, find you. Yeah, some hold on real space. quick though, shout out to Dogecoin. Are you still holding some? Yeah, I'm not selling that shit. I'm still bro. holding too, man. I'm not I did sell shit. some, but. Bro, you was thirsty. You should have. I would have got you a Chick fil A coupon or something. Bro. I kind of had to, bro. I, was, I had a big opportunity. Man, big you, know how many, you know how many overweight I invested girls? in myself. It's, it's a whole bunch of overweight ladies with low self esteem that's willing to take, you know what I'm saying, a whole bunch of shit in consideration. Let's use their cards, their <laughs> credit cards, nigga. Discovery cards, Open Sky, you know what I'm saying? You use the, the big girls. But listen, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a girl, and shit, she's cute. You feel me? And, uh. He's gonna have like. He's gonna have like 10 minutes that for of footage, bro. Do that for me. This nigga gonna have like 10 minutes of footage. All the rest of us gonna have to get scrapped. Bro. No, I'm, I'm gonna keep most of this. I'm gonna keep most of this. This shit for me. No, um. <laughs> babe, do you got the question? But you're right, though. You are right, though, because I know some. Some homies that got the sauce. Hold on, he cut me off to talk about Dogecoin. What was I saying? Let's oh, go yeah. rewind. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, no, uh, niggas with the music, bro. Which if you if you make music, bro, find you some space. It's a it's a release. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you got a that's a coping mechanism. If 
you go to the psychology, if you get in the treatment, they'll tell you that you need coping mechanisms and shit like that to deal with bullshit when it happens, you feel what I'm saying? So get your ass into your notepad on your iPhone. I don't know what Android got because I ain't on Android in years. I don't know what that shit would look like, you know? Go write you some music, bro. Get in the studio and connect with whoever is promoting music. Don't answer none of them DMs, though, bro. None of them DMs from any of them niggas from Argentina and, and all them spots. Them niggas is lying. And they shitty with they uh, cartoon work, bro. They probably lying to you. You know what I'm saying? They just, they try to give you fake promo and sell you on that shit. But, I mean, sometimes any exposure is good exposure, you know what I'm saying? That nigga sure. Just go look at they look at their feed and see yeah. how consistent they views is and right. shit like that. Man, get the fuck outside, man. Pop out, get out here, get your music out here, let motherfuckers know if you gotta send everybody um, cash apps for, for Chiba Hut, like I do. <laughs> It'll get you somewhere, though, bro. Look where I'm at. Yeah, I sent the hell out of Chiba Hut. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. You here, <laughs> baby. You know and saying? some it's promo. Yeah, yeah get your ass out promo. here, though, bro, man. If you make music, man, make music, bro. Like my you gotta baby do it said, the right in your head, get it out, find a way to get it out. Don't punch your baby mom. Don't be mean to your kids. You right. feel what I'm saying? Don't kick your dog, bro. Go write some bars. You feel what I'm saying? Thanks. Wake up in the morning, man. Find a way to, you know what I'm saying? Get out here and make some music, bro. People love music. People's lives change because of music, man. Motherfuckers can hear a song and be like, damn, bro, I want to be serious about my life. Let me gas up this little bitch-ass car and take this bitch all the way to California and be real about my goddamn life. And we just get on. Shout out Lizzo. You see how her big ass got on? Even though she exited with that goddamn her ass out at the Lakers game and shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, that's how you going to get on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, get out here. Right. Summer Walker did the same thing. Like, look at these motherfuckers, bro. And they tell you their story soon as they get on, bro. So if you make music, stop being a bitch, bro. Put some motherfucking caliente in your goddamn spirit, nigga. And get out here, man. Pop out, man. Make yourself known, man. Make your kids proud. Make your mama proud, man. And that's why I came out as Key, because that's my real name. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, ain't no sugarcoated shit, bitch. You look up Key on any platform, I'll be the only one there. Nigga. That's my mom's name. She gave that shit to me. Oh, she got it from a pill doctor that was selling it. <laughs> Damn, mama said I wasn't going to say it, but look, my mom got that shit from a pill doctor in Akron and shit. Nigga, that nigga's name was Key Superior or something. Rest in peace to that nigga. And she named me after that nigga. Damn. That shit dope, though, because I'm the only Key you ever heard, though. Ain't I? True. You ever seen Key? You went to school, huh? Yeah, look, look, look. This shit nasty in here, bro. You got any final thoughts, any shout outs, any last, many things you want to speak on before you oh, get out of here? Just about. Yeah, hold on, let me see. What else you trying to talk about, okay, man? What else on the way? You got any shows? You got any events? You got any collaborations? You got any mountain views? Damn, this nigga, uh, Shooter just posted the preview to the next song. Show it. Let's see it. Let's see what's cracking for. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give me that. Clean, clean. We like it. We like what we see. Keev. His name is not Steve. Yeah. He came from Colorado Springs. Mark. What is he on? Jeez. All right, man. Um, hey, no, man. Um, yeah, you got me, man. I got some uh, new shit on the way, man. Like I said, with Penny Taylor and Doobie Dings, um, my next project about to be dropping this year. I plan on dropping two before the year's out. And if everything go right, then I'm gonna drop two projects before the year's out. You got names for those projects? Yeah, Name me versus song? me. Uh, me versus me. Uh, Roots. I got videos coming as y'all can see. What's that one called? Some new shit. Tell me if I'm wrong with Blue Shooter. Uh, some shit I wrote when I was locked up. And a uh, whole bunch of shit coming, man. Me and A1 gotta get back busy. Uh, me and Forever the Goats gotta get some shit in. Whole bunch of shit coming, man. Send me beats, man. Send me features and shit like that, man. Let's work. Let's get the box state on, motherfucker. So we oh, can be like right. Trevor Bridge and AP at the games performing, man. Supporting each other, doing this shit. That shit was dope, man. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Shout out to Smith and Terry. Shout yep. out to DJ K-Tone. Shout out to everybody. Mile high, man. Let's chase the check. I'm gonna get the shits. Where can the people find you on social media? Uh, man, don't find me on social media, man. Go go find out how to get your PPP so you can make your music and shit. But if you don't get approved and you still on your phone and you, 
and you looking for something to do, go look up my high mini. You feel what I'm saying? Then you're going to figure out something else to do. You ain't going to never look for my page. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> well, they're going to go to my high mini. And they gonna see Keeve on that. Yeah, if you wanna find out where I'm at, homie gonna post it in the comments and shit. I ain't at myself, you feel what I'm saying? If you wanna find out where I'm at, find out where I'm at. You can do your search man, like I did. You gonna see it in the description of this video. You feel me? You uh, feel me? You on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. And just call me Kezo. Uh, <laughs> my name is Keeve, but you can just call me Kezo, because it's for short. I don't like people saying that shit, because it reminds me of all the times that I got whoopings for doing shit or getting caught for somebody else doing some shit. And, um, so just call me Kazo at Jess J U S C A L L N E underscore C U Z Z O. I'm not a crip. I'm not a gang member. It's just a name that uh, one of my homies gave me when I was locked up because I get along with people like family. As you can tell, you see how I only speak about me. I give him Chiba Huts. Shit, I'm about to sing that right now. You want some Chiba Huts, bro? Yeah. What's some Chiba Huts? <laughs> Let's see. Hey, shit, man. Bro, shit. Real quick though, the most important question of the evening, can you, I know you already shot us out a hundred times, but for the one time that it needs to be the special time, can I get a very special shout out for the Maha Minute, you feel me, for the YouTube so I can throw in front of this video and catch the people's attention. Alright, how you, you going to say right now? Nope, no, 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 for real, uh, Hey man, shout out to the number one podcast in the motherfucking world. You feel what I'm saying? We considering all that shit, which we can debut at the Olympics and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. shout out to Mile High Minute, man, single handedly, the number one, the number one. You feel what I'm saying? In the mountain region. Fuck what you talk about. Ain't nobody else out here putting it on like him. Nigga, who who showing Black History shit past Black History Month? You know somebody? I was just the, I just seen you feel me? Like, I was in here really. Not for real though. Yeah. Tap in, man. Come spend some money with the homie, man. Come help somebody pay some bills and shit. You feel what I'm saying? And collaborate, man. Get the box stayed on. Hey, anybody. For real. I'm not playing. Send me beats. Send me anything, bro. Hey, man. This has been a legendary interview. Make sure y'all go follow my boy Keeve on everything. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. All links will be in the description. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Comment down below who you want to see next on the Maha Minute. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button to stay notified when all yeah. the latest news drops. Shout out my boy Lust Got Hits, producing all the Maha Minute beats. Shout out my boy um, David over there at 3 and Water. You know what I'm saying? Shout out um, the whole city, man. Maha Minute, number one podcast universe. We out. Chase it.